Today we are having a look at the correlation coefficient and predictions. The correlation coefficient is a value that measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables. The correlation coefficient symbol is an R and the value is always between minus 1 and 1. The value will be negative if the gradient of the regression line is negative and that means the one variable will increase as the other one decreases. Similarly, the value will be positive if the gradient of the regression line is positive. When the coordinates lie precisely in a straight line, whether it's positive gradient or a negative gradient, we call this a perfect correlation. Here, the correlation coefficient will be minus one or one. Then we get a strong correlation, and as the coordinates lie further away from the regression line, it becomes a moderate correlation, and then a weak correlation until there's no correlation at all. This correlation coefficient is also determined using your calculator. In the previous lesson, we already had a look at this example where we compared the year's experience with the salary of people in the same company. When we drew the line of best fit, it was already clear that most of the coordinates lie quite close to this regression line. Let's see how to calculate the correlation coefficient. I'm reminding you that you start off changing the mode to option 2, the stats mode, and because we are working with two sets of data and the regression line, we once again choose option 2. Now, respectively, you add the two sets of data in the columns for X and Y. Once the data is all read in, you press AC and go to Shift and Option 1 for statistics. Here we choose Option 5, our regression option, and the correlation coefficient has a symbol R, so we choose number 3. Here you will see that the correlation coefficient is then 0 0.99. Question 2. Comment on the relationship between the salary and year's experience. Because we have a correlation coefficient of 0 0.99, we can say that here we have a very strong positive linear correlation. Because the correlation is so strong, we can use the regression line to make accurate predictions. It is an indication that this company values years of experience when determining a salary. Of course, the weaker the correlation, the less reliable the predictions will be. Determine the salary that a person with 9 years experience should receive. Because in the previous lesson we already determined the equation for the regression line, we can simply substitute the 9 years into x's place and determine the y value that will then represent the salary. Let's have a look at another example. The table shows the ages of 10 men and the mass in kilogram that they can bench press. The equation of the least squares regression line is y is equal to 72,4 minus 0,44x. First question, calculate the correlation coefficient. This correlation coefficient can be determined using your calculator and you will get r is minus 0,39. Question 2. Discuss the relationship between the men's ages and the mass they can bench press. Here we have a weak negative linear correlation and that means that the predictions that we can make will not be very reliable. Question 3. Estimate how much a 50 year old man will be able to bench press. The 50 kilogram is the x value that we can substitute into our regression lines equation to determine a y value of 50,4 kilograms. And even though this value can be calculated, it is not very reliable.